Hello there, it's the Fabled Arpuna with the final Sword and Shield versus a Great Baggy. We're pretty much uh, going to force this weapon. It's another of the crystal branch weapons in this case. Forge weapon is the Tusk Gear. See, it requires two light crystals. A lot of pegalocyte, 10 out of 15, and some monster fluid. A bit more expensive than the 6 Tanula. Comparatively, you're better off with the 6 rather than the Tusk Gear. As I mentioned before, the Tusk Gear, the crystal weapons, tend to have more slots than its counterpart. And that's pretty much the advantages they have over other weapons at the same level. So let's forge it. Equip it. And we're going to use it. What was I thinking? Oh yes, let's have a meal. Nothing of interesting here. Monster is not an elemental monster. Wait, did they, what's the name of Sonic anywhere? No. So what should I get? Freshness for stamina or stars for health? Or a bit of both. Mm -hmm. Well, guess I can go for this if I get it. Super Carver. Now, as you can see, I'm going to be sticking with the Roggy Arm set. Pretty much because well, I'll deal a little bit low on green sharpness, so it's going to go at least twice during combat or during the hunt with these weapons. I'm not sure if there's any skill I can. Nah. And let's go! Kick and uh, open item at the same time. Here you go, Cha Cha. Precious toes. And let us hunt a baggy. Or a great one, for that matter. To me, hot drinks, hot drinks, hot drinks, yeah. Not sure if to keep the rations up or the. Are there an energy, energy drink? Oh, wasn't facing the right way. Interesting sounds the weapon does, like the majority of the crystal weapons. It's like a, a wind blowing through its. Well, it's vibrating in some way.
And again, enraged. Charge to have a nap. So far, I've disabled the uh, targeting system at uh, the auto tracking or camera tracking system. I just don't like the fact of that it paints a crosshair every time you use it on the monster. Or at least the fact that you can't disable the, the actual crosshair appearing. Just, I find it annoying. It kind of breaks the immersion for me. I don't mind using the actual thing once the monster's painted or something like that. But the crosshair really doesn't need to be there. Or couldn't they have at least given the option to have it so it doesn't show up? I don't know. So far. I've adapted to use the camera manually. Which I think it's more handy because sometimes the automatic camera, when I used it in the demo, did go a bit mad at some points. I need to roll into that. Nearly got hit there, then I got hit there. Actually rolled into that deck. Oh, I just realised that I lost sharpness. When did that happen? Not good to realise that you've lost sharpness a while after it's happened. Especially if you have to speed sharpener to compensate. So you'd have to wait for the monster to leave the area. Whew. That was close. I mean, you could have pretty much know where it goes, either it goes to 2 or 4. I'm not sure if it goes to 5 from here. Now this. Okay, you might want to actually hit it, mate. Okay, it should be close to this by now. Oh, actually got the break. Amazing. That was mostly luck, other than anything else. Considering how close it was to death, that was really lucky. Okay, so let's carve. Death super carver. Don't remember if I got it. Yeah, I did get it. Short term memory. Okay, well, this has been the last time I'll be under the great baggy with the shorter sword and shield. We'll be moving on to the next weapon class, chosen at random. In the list.
Some of the weapon classes have uh, more weapons available at this stage, others do not. As you can see with the hunting horn from the previous episodes, there was only one available. Did a second episode with one of the fire horns. Kuropeko horn. It's pretty much that size. Other weapons are a bit like that, that they do not have that many available upgrades after hunting the gobble or clearing out the tundra. Anyway, let's see rewards. Baggy hides, claws, hides, slip sack. Five items there, not really that much. I've gotten rid of most of my bone husks, tried to combine them, but I pretty much had every ammo type there that could combine with this. So it's not really worth my time. All the space in there. In, in the chest. Hmm? Could do with some more crests. Just in case I'll be needing a lot of them later on. For another one final bit. Let's see what Chesh has for us. It's mystery pot. Oh, mega potions. Not oh, said you and using up honey. And herbs and mushrooms. And other things. Well just other things basically. Okay, this has been the favourite Arpuna. See you next time and good hunting.